show that the polar form of the equation x squared all over 25 plus y squared all over 9 equals to 1 is given by r equals to 15 over the root of 9 plus 16 sine theta squared. can sketch this triangle to assist us uh, this is y value x value this is radius and that is the angle now we want to express r in terms of x and y values and the angle um, so we we apply Sokatoa Sokatoa so to get this the the sign of this angle sine theta is given by opposite over hypotenuse opposite of this angle is y hypotenuse is r therefore from this ratio we can say that uh, y is given by r sine r sine theta and the cosine of this angle is given by cos theta is given by adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent is x hypotenuse is r therefore x equals to R cos theta. Okay, so we have expressed y in terms of r and the, the angle, and also we have expressed x in terms of the radius and angle. So we come to this equation and replace x and y with these values. Therefore, the equation becomes <coughs> the value of x is now this it will be r squared cos theta squared all over 25 plus the value of y, which is now this r squared sin theta squared all over 9 equals to equals to 1. <clears throat> now we had the two fractions the LCM is 25 times 9 25 into 25 times 9 because there are 9 times that term we have 9 r squared cos theta squared plus 9 cos here 25 times so it will be 25 r squared sine theta squared equals to 1 so we multiply both sides by 25 times 9 so that we have 9 r squared cos theta squared plus 25 r squared sine theta squared equals to 25 times 9 times 1 So here r is common we can factorize r squared out so we have r squared into 9 cos theta squared plus 25 sin theta squared equals to 25 times 9 
Now we can express cos theta squared in terms of sine theta. Uh, we know that um, sine theta squared plus cos theta squared equals to 1. Therefore, making cos theta subject, it will be cos theta squared equals to 1 minus sine theta squared. Therefore, we can substitute cos theta squared by 1 minus sine theta squared. So this equation R squared into 9 into 1 minus sine theta squared plus 25 sine theta squared equals 25.9, 25 times 9. So opening at the bracket, we have R squared into, this will be 9, minus 9 sine theta squared plus 25 sine theta squared equals 25 times 9. Now, minus 9 theta squared plus 25 sine theta squared. So we remain with R into, this would be 9, uh, this is R squared plus 16 sine theta squared equals to 25 times 9. Okay, to get the value, we remain with the R squared, we divide both sides by 9 plus 16 sine theta squared. Therefore, R squared equals to 25 times 9 over 9 plus 16 sine theta squared. To get the value of R, we get the square on both sides. Therefore, R equals to the square root of 25 times 9 over 9 plus 16 sine theta squared. So R equals the square root of 25 times 9 is 5.3, which is 15, so it will be 15 over the root of 9 plus 16 sine theta squared. Okay, we have shown that the polar form of this equation is this one. Thank you for watching and listening.